what is up math superstars my name is mr peterson i'm bringing to you sixth grade math this year here at stonehill middle school a couple things you need to know about me is that i make videos for all my lessons which are found on youtube and google classroom all that cool stuff as you can obviously see i love to play minecraft especially with my middle child who is a redstone master if you know what minecraft is when you come to my class, you will always be encouraged to strive to do your best, and I will help you at every step of the way. So as far as some technology that we'll use in the classroom, so these are some apps that you can get for your device if you have one, or you can always go online and go on the internet and you can sign up for all this really cool stuff that we're doing and we'll give you directions on how to do that so the first app that you'll download is google classroom so what will happen is for every single class that i do uh, in google classroom i will post a video of the lesson for the day i will have the notes and any practice that we do i'll have various links for uh, different math helps uh, that will be on there and so it is responsibility of every student to go to their Google Classroom and make sure that their assignments are all taken care of. So another app that will be used is called Zaption. What I do is I make all my videos and I post them to YouTube. But what Zaption does that's really cool is that I'll be adding different little questions and stop points in my video using this app. And so if you download this for your mobile device, uh, you'll be able to go through the video and answer the questions. Super cool. You can also use it on your desktop by going to any of the links that are provided in the Google Classroom. The third app that we'll be using is an app called Quizlet. So for every unit that I do, I will have vocabulary, key vocabulary that we'll be using math pretty much is like a is like a foreign language to a, to a lot of people and so we have to learn some particular academic words and uh and so there'll be uh, several for out, throughout each unit and so what quizlet does is that you can go on your device or on your desktop computer you can go in and you can go ahead and look up the different words that we're using and so if there's something that's confusing to you i'm pretty sure that it is found there in quizlet So another really cool app we're going to use is called Shadow Puppet EDU. And I think this is only available in the iTunes store currently. And uh, But what this will do is that at the end of every unit or objective that we do, I'm going to ask students to create a video. So this video, the student's picture will not be in it. It's just them talking through the steps on how to solve different math problems. And then... Yeah, you know, how to fix errors, how to fix mistakes. And so we're going to use this as a way to do a digital peer tutoring session. And so um, so over the year, we're going to collect all the different videos. And then it will also be used for things like SOL remediation when we review for the test. And it's also a great way, too, for students to gain confidence in what they've learned and how to share that with somebody else and so we're really gonna have a lot of fun with the shadow puppet edu app and then this fifth one this is any math flashcard app and so i'm really big with creating math fluency what that means is that students should be able to recognize immediately things like seven times five is 35. so i know they've already memorized their math facts but we're going to keep reinforcing uh, the math facts that they learned last year and hopefully expand their knowledge and create better fluency so that way math becomes easier the easier these problem the easier the mental math is though the more complex things will become easier for them as well so these are just some different apps we're going to use we're going to have a, we're going to have a blast this year here at stonehill and sit in sixth grade math class and i cannot wait to meet you and your student here at the school so if you have any questions at any time, feel free to email me. My email address is here below. It's william.peterson at lcps.org. Thanks so much and have a great rest of your day.